ऑटोमोबाइल हैविंग ए मास ऑफ 2000 केजी क्रूजेस एट ए स्पीड ऑफ 20 मीटर पर सेकंड इफ ऑल द व्हील्स आर जंप्ड सडनली हाउ फार विल द ऑटोमोबाइल स्किड्स बिफोर इट कम्स टू ए हॉल्ट अज्यूमिंग दैट द व्हीकल डजंट स्पिन और टॉपल द कोफिशिएंट ऑफ फ्रिक्शन बिटवीन द ग्राउंड एंड टायर्स इज 0.8 so here mass of the vehicle is given so 2000 kg and the initial speed is given as 20 meter per second and it is mentioned that wheels are jumped suddenly so when the wheels are jumped suddenly so that means it has been brought to the state of rest so at that moment the final velocity is equal to 0 and it is asked to calculate how far will the automobile skids that means it is asked to calculate the distance so assuming that the vehicle doesn't spin or topple so and the coefficient of friction is given 0.8 from that we can find the acceleration first later we will find the distance right first let us write the given data given mass is 2000 kg initial velocity is 20 meter per second and it is mentioned that wheels are jumped suddenly so when wheels are jumped suddenly so there won't be any velocity furthermore so that means final velocity is 0 meter per second and the coefficient of friction is given as 0.8 so you need to find the distance so let us consider a vehicle so this is on the road so here for the vehicle so weight axis vertically downwards and combining this as a single unit i am going to draw free body diagram here so normal reaction it is acting vertically upwards and uh, if it is accelerating in this direction in the opposite direction there will be inertia force ma or w by g into a so here applying uh, sigma fy equal to 0 and sigma fx is equal to 0 when i apply sigma fy equal to 0 and acting vertically upwards w acting vertically downwards no other forces that means normal reaction is equal to weight okay so here frictional force will be in this direction why because it is accelerating in this direction right so here when i consider sigma fx is equal to 0 minus f along negative x direction and minus w by g into a equal to 0 So instead of frictional force, I can write it as mu n minus w by g into a equal to zero. So if you take that one onto right hand side, it is equal w by g into a. So here you can replace n by w. So then minus mu into w equal to w by g into a. W w gets cancelled from that a equal to minus mu z. So in order to find acceleration, you can use this relation. A is equal to minus mu z. so a is equal to minus so coefficient of friction is given as 0.8 so minus 0.8 into acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 from this you can calculate the value of acceleration so that will be around minus 7.85 meter per second square this is the value of acceleration so you have to find uh, the displacement so here you have initial velocity final velocity acceleration so from the relation v square minus u square equal to 2 as final velocity is 0 and initial velocity is given as 20 so 2 into acceleration due to gravity sorry a is acceleration we got that one as minus 7.85 into s so this is 20 square divided by 2 into 7.85. So here minus minus gets cancelled. From that you can find the value of s. So if you solve that, you will get around 25.48 meters. Thank you for watching. Hope you like this video. If you like this video, click on like button and uh, for further updates, subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon. to get continuous updates thank you all